face on this uh, computer do these blogs because I don't have my uh, television. I, I, television always on when I'm talking here. Yeah. Hold, on. Hold on a second here. Well, who cares? Anyway, it's a very nice blog, very professional blog. Andy always says to me, um, what do you care? What do you care? I'm going to start a channel on YouTube called What Do You Care? And it's important that she says, what do you care? Because she stops me in my tracks when I get caught up in bullshit. And then I blog. The reason she says, what do you care? She tells me stuff. And then I try to find normalcy or logic out of the situation she's telling me. And when I can't find logic or normalcy, and I start questioning and trying to figure it out, she says, what do you care? Because I back her into a wall, because she probably can't figure out any, any logic or normalcy. But she won't admit, she won't say, yeah, that sounds crazy, or, or have a normal conversation to try to find the logic out of the situation. So she just says, what do you care? Because I pushed her back against the wall, and she has to show you that she's in control of the situation. What do you care? And when she says that to me, it's important she says what, because I get caught up like a dope in the situation, in the conversation. And when she says, what do you care? I, I say, you're right. I don't care. I, I don't know why I care, because I, I get caught up, and it happens to, all, all the time. I get caught up if you tell me something, and you said, you know, Oswald shot Kennedy in 1964. Now, what do I care? What does that have to do with me? It has nothing to do with me. Oh, it's terrible. The president got shot and all that stuff and what happened to America at the time. But does it have, does it have any effect on my, my life? Nothing. It had anything to do with me being a billionaire? Nothing. But if you said that to me, I'd say, oh, that's terrible. I know that he, he was at, at the, the uh, not the dispensary, that my kid Lauren likes the dispensary. He's at the, um, the, the book uh, the library up there, whatever that was called, and, he, and he's on the Nolly Hill, and... Um, so, 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 so Bruder shot him with their film. I'll start going on and on and on like a dope. And then until Andrew finally says, what do you care? And I say, you're right, what do I care? I, I, I don't know why. Psychologically, emotionally, I get caught up in bullshit. If you tell me something, for some reason, I, I, I try to show an interest, but I really don't care. I don't. And I had this conversation with Andrew's friends at dinner time. When they bring up conversation, they bring up topics. And, and I did this blog already, and I ask questions. And they say, no, you ask a lot of questions. And I say, ask questions because I'm trying to show an interest in what you're saying, even though I really don't care. I don't care. And if I didn't ask questions, we'd all be sitting there. It'd be like a morgue because nobody would say anything. And people would say, oh, you know what? I just went to Florida. And I, I didn't say, I wouldn't say anything. There's no conversation. Nothing there. I said, waiter, can I have to check? What else am I going to say? But if I said, oh, you went to Florida. How was Florida? How was the weather? What'd you do there? Uh, for some reason, I, I feel a, um, not an urgency. I feel a, a responsibility or something to make people think that I care what the hell is going on in their lives, even though I really don't care. And then I, I get caught up without thinking that I don't care until Andrea says, what do you care? And then she stops me that I do a blog. Now, the only reason I do these blogs is because things, there's no normalcy or lo logic in the situation that Andrea explains to me. If, if there was logic, I wouldn't have nothing to blog about, but there's no logic. Yesterday, Andrea says that Jared's friends bought Jared four tires for his car because he had a spare tire on the car. Whatever the bullshit, he had a spare tire and he, he didn't have the money to get the four tires, whatever it was. So his friend's parents, which was very nice, bought him four tires for the car for $200, but Jared has to give them back $100. So I said, I, I, don't, I don't understand. I, I, I'm trying to, I, that doesn't make any sense. But explain that to me. And then he said, what do you care? And I said, you're right, what do I care? What do I care about Jared's four tires? It's enough I paid $150 for his car battery. And it's enough that Andy pays for the car insurance and Andy pays for the, for the car payments. I'm thrilled they don't have to pay for the four tires, but the part that they paid the 200, but he has to give back 100. I, I, I was trying to figure out, I don't understand what happened there. And he says, what do you care? And, and I said, you're right. I, I don't care about the four tires. And then Andy says, then Jared got a, 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 an oil, an oil change for $30. So I said, Jared's been complaining. There's no food in the house. We live here like two bachelors, like Oscar Madison. I have a stick of butter, I think, in the refrigerator from 1965 when I bought the house. That's the only thing in the refrigerator. I got a bag of pretzels and an empty can of peanuts. That's why it's like two frat boys living in this house. I have no, no body. It looks like Cambodia in this house. It's like Vietnam in 1962. That's what it looks like in this house. I don't cook. What do you think? I'm the chef. I'm the, that uh, British guy that hollers, F you, your mother effer. You think that's who I am? I want to eat every day. I'm a bachelor. That's how I live. Maybe listen to the in-laws. I live here with Jared. He's out with his girlfriends, his friends, staying out, partying, and going to clubs, whatever the hell he does. That's the way it is. So I said, well, Andrew, if Jared had an extra $30, why didn't he say, geez, I have $30. I'm going to buy some food. Instead, he said, boy, I have $30. I'm going to get an oil change. You see how nothing makes any sense? So I said, Andrew, if Jared had $30, why wouldn't he buy food? Why would he get an oil 
change. And Henry said, well, why do you care? So I said, you're right. I don't care. I don't care that a guy didn't know. I said, well, I, I, he's my kid, but why do I care that a guy didn't know change? And as well, he has to drive safe. It's for his safety. How is an oil change for Jared's safety? Can anybody, any car experts out there, how is an oil change going to affect Jared's safety in the car? I can understand if Jared needs brakes. Well, that's safety. But an oil change? How does an oil change have to do with the safety in the car? But now he has an oil change. He's not going to be eating till 19, uh, 19. <laughs> till who knows when, but he has an oil change. I, I, I don't understand. So when Andrea says, what do you care? She's right, I, I don't care. But when she tells me things, and she says, I'm going to tell you stuff, but you can't say anything. Uh, when, when she tells me stuff, I, I, I'm not a, a yenta. I don't gossip to uh, my neighbor across the street. And Mrs. Uh, from Bewish, what's her name? Uh, I can't think of her name. Anyone knows her name. Um, but the other actor, I can't even think of his name, who was the neighbor. Telling my friend, hey, you want to hear this gossip? This doesn't get me any entertainment. It, blogging gets me entertainment. Blogging to the world, to the two people that watch it, me and... The guy that came to my channel by mistake looking for somebody else. That's who I blog to because it's too nutty. It's too crazy. In my mind, if I can't find logic or normalcy, I blog about it. And Andrea hates it. So I said to Andrea, if you don't want me to blog, don't tell me anything. Or if you're going to tell me something, it has to be normal. It has to make sense. And it doesn't make sense to me. A lot of things don't make any sense to me. So that's why I blog about them. But can I have an opinion? Can I have an opinion on these situations? Can I have an opinion when Jared spends thirty dollars for an oil change, but if he complains about food and doesn't buy any food, he gets an oil change. That's all he complains about. We have nothing in the house to eat. We have nothing in the house to eat. I have thirty dollars. I'm gonna get an oil change. <laughs> you see, that doesn't make any sense. But now he's driving safe in the car. He's very happy. Great. Now I want you to go to DavidBronstein.com. DavidBronstein.com. What do you care? What do you care about DavidBronstein.com? If you care about money, that's why you should go to DavidBronstein.com because I got the biggest deals there. I do business with Shark Tank, Dragon's Den, Type TV product suppliers. They give me their crazy products and I put them on TV. TV is real easy. You should see the products I got now. I got some new, a new penis enlargement or something. I don't know what the hell it is. I'll show it to you. Go to DavidBronstein.com. The guy's making a fortune with it. Another guy, he came to me with a, what the hell is it? I, they, they bombard me with these crazy products. Who knows which is going to be the next Sham Wow, the next Slap Chop, the next Magic Bullet, the next Gazelle worth $100 million. That's the world I come from. And I got to get it online. I need you web pros, you eBay pros, you business partners. I need you to run the management team. I, the empire. I got, I got real estate deals in Philadelphia. I, I cannot keep track of what the hell's going on. I can. And I'm very lucky that these opportunities and deals come my way. And you'll find them all at davidbronstein.com. So if you can walk and talk and chew gum at the same time, if you like cash, only if you like cash, get in touch with me, davidbronstein.com. Let's make a lot of cash together. Or what do you care? Go get an oil change. <laughs> Nothing makes any sense to me. And when I ask the family and friends to explain, what I'm, they say, what do you, I'm, I'm Andrew says, what do you care? Because I back her up against the wall. Not literally. I, I, I'm, I'm questioning the situation she explains to me because I don't understand it. And when she doesn't want to explain it, she says, why do you care? <laughs> then why are you telling me? Don't tell me anything. I always tell you all the time. We'll get along great. Just don't talk to me. We'll get along wonderful. I don't say anything. That, if that easy, for some reason, they have an urge uh, and feeling to say something to me. Other than hello. Other than that, we'd get along fine. They say, hello, good morning, good night. That's about it. Get along fine. After that, the whole world went nuts. DavidBronzy.com's made a lot of cash together. What do you care?